The thing with beliefs is that it's basically just a thought that you keep thinking over and over and over again. You just repeat it in your head. Or it can be a thought from somebody else, from your teacher or your parent. Like you're not good at math, you're not good at math, you're not good at math. And they become our beliefs. We just repeat something so often that they become our beliefs. And then they become subconscious and we're not even aware of them. But they are the truth eventually. Like they used to always say, Rafael is really good at school, but he's really slow. And that has been repeated my entire childhood until it becomes a subconscious program that I have to then either live with later or I have to work with it. And these beliefs can even be so hidden that we are absolutely not thinking that it's belief, it's just the truth. For example, I need to have nine hours of sleep. Your body will need it because it's something that you have repeated to yourself enough times that you actually believe it's the truth and your body, your whole environment will all conspire in a way that that belief will be the truth. So we can use it also for the positive way. We can affirm something so much until we believe in it that the environment and our body will also conspire in a way that it's the truth. So it's an amazing tool to work with beliefs. Our beliefs can be also our limitations and it is sometimes very obvious that some people want to believe something and other people something else and then they absolutely ask for conflict. It's very much when we are strong in our beliefs it's amazing if you feel you're healthy and you constantly tell yourself uh, you're healthy, you're healthy, you're healthy and you're great and you have great uh, digestion and so on, the body responds. The body hears it. You know how people write on uh, grains of rice in water, hate, love and neutral and the hate uh, water just spoils much, much faster and the love is just still containing itself in a similar shapes and so on, maybe fermenting a little bit, but I know that it's important to say to ourselves uh, constantly the beliefs which we even want to believe and we don't even do them yet. Because mm -hmm. if you hear the word belief, be lived, be, be live, you know, so basically to be lived and to, to live mm -hmm. and to be like in this kind of energy all the time. And I once was shopping and uh, found this gold sign i will share it with you and it's written on it she believed she could so she did and i have it hanging above my door in my home room i read it all the time so i don't even pay attention to it but it's still written in front of my eyes so um, my brain is still taking it in Right? And if you want to have some belief, which means you want to live something, you want to be living something, uh, it, it's great if you decide what is it going to be. And I also said to Raphael for a few weeks, I'm so tired, I still need to take a rest and so on. And then I talked to my mother and she said, Hey, I discovered this kind of people and they are singing to their body and they are singing that my whole body is filled with light and it makes me feel so happy. I started to sing to my body too and I will stop saying to my body that I am not feeling good and I'm, I'm not healthy and I will just say to my body I'm perfectly healthy and, ama and, and amazing all the time. I feel great. I have enough energy and everything what you want to live. And uh, this is uh, that the body is so, uh, such a good computer or the brain that it just hears it and it commands, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's letting be commanded. And otherwise, if you would keep repeating this over and over again mm -hmm. for several mm -hmm. weeks mm -hmm. or months, mm -hmm. that I'm tired, I'm always tired, it will become a belief and you will not have to think it anymore. It will be just your subconscious belief and you can live like this for 10, 20 years that you're always tired. So, but it usually starts with a thought. Mm -hmm. If we want to change something, if we want to have a new habit or a new personality trait, 
or, or if you want to be living something exactly. else. Exactly. When we want to change something, it starts with a thought. We have to repeat that thought often enough for us to actually believe it. When we believe it, we automatically start to behave like it has already happened. We believe we have the money, so we behave like we have the money. And the whole environment will also conspire because you believe and you behave that way and the money will come to you because you just know you have it. And I have been working a lot with the belief that I can't have my online business, that I can't make money on my own. That you never make anything. I never made it because that, that was the story for the past 10 years when I have tried to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. And that has been instilled by myself mostly, but also by my environment because they saw, ah, Raphael, he still starts something and he never finishes it. And then I have to work with this. And I think it's also the reason why some really young people, like they can be 16, 14 or 18, they just decide, hey, I'm going to start an online business and they're successful and they're millionaires by the time they're 18 or 20 because they don't have those limitations which other people still carry around And with what themselves. if this and what if that and so yes. on. Yes, yeah, they, they didn't know they couldn't, so they could. Or they believed they could, so they did it. Mm -hmm. And they were just lucky on the way. Mm -hmm. It's you attract it because you're just having the right mindset. And it's a lot about beliefs. When you share with other people around you that you are very tired, that they will also, if you share it so many times, it will just become true, truth in, in their head and they will perceive you as she's always tired or he's they always tired. They contribute with their yeah. beliefs also into your field. And they That's will even just stronger. pass the ball into your uh, you know, basket yeah. because it's gonna happen that it will be multiplying by other people's energy in, in, in um, investment. Mm -hmm. And you can see that like your friends and family or other people, they meet somebody and they're like, oh yeah, yeah that person, they're always lucky or they're, they make a lot of money and they have this easy and so on. People carry those beliefs for you as well. Yeah, I wanted to mention when Rafael said, I have to work with my belief. We realized that you don't really have to work. He's singing. They are singing, you know. My, Your my father, father is, singing. is singing. I don't know if they can hear it. <laughs> because he has his uh, grandkids there and he sings them. <laughs> right? Okay. I'll realize what I have believe in what I believe in step one I realize and then I don't work with it anymore because if you work with it and we have tried it so many times then it is getting bigger it grows it's becoming stronger oh I'm still tired I have to work with Bolivia and I, mean, I have to pressure it and I have to just do something with it and I have to take this and that pill and uh, sleep earlier and so on no I am great, I feel amazing and I'm connected to my body. So when my body asks for nap or when my body asks for a pause, I'm going to lay down and have a pause or I'm going to sleep earlier. And it's just normal. And it's normal. It doesn't have to be anything written on a paper or anything. I'm just in tune with my body and I do what my body asks me to do because I want to pay it back for a service which it did when I needed it, mm -hmm. like when I had to go and do stuff and make money and and so on. So this that's is already the second step. So yeah. first you recognize what kind of beliefs you have, neg negative limiting beliefs, and they can be really, really hidden. And like really you have no idea that that ever could be considered a belief, but it is. <laughs> Just laughing at her father singing. Don't know if you can hear it. So you write it down and every time you catch yourself in the future thinking that way or you know that you're having that belief in that moment, you say, okay, I no longer believe this way and I have an alternative belief. I'm going to think this way now. And yes, you have to repeat it over and over and over again like you did with all the negative limiting beliefs you already have 
until it becomes your new belief and it will just be your nature they will say she is like that he is like that but you needed to get yourself into this one of the things which can help you the most is you have to believe that you can because if you believe you can't change something and you have to stay stuck in whatever you are in you are unhealthy unhappy in a relationship or you just feel that you you don't even know that you can mm -hmm. that's also a belief that's a belief and then you realize you can you can believe in you and you can change things and it's so empowering mm -hmm. just to know that you can mm -hmm. and a lot of people in dr joe's work dr joe dispenza's work healed when they started to truly believe that they can heal. It was one of the biggest breakthroughs for those people. Mm -hmm. And almost every person says this. Yeah, that because they until they can do the work for years, but until they start to believe that it actually could work for them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nothing happens. They have to get to this point that, it, that they can believe, I, this can happen for me. And also about wealth and, um, you know, happiness and love and love life. If you will still say, oh, I believe, you know, not that you say I believe, but you can just put there those words. I believe I have still not uh, good luck about men and I am still alone and everybody is betraying me and they stole my money and so on and it's gonna be all the time just supported and you say it to your girlfriend and she will say to other girlfriend you know this girlfriend is super nice but she's such such an unlucky person with mm -hmm, men mm -hmm. and it will be just supported in a field and what are you going to do with it you have to then convince the whole signature in a field which yeah. is much harder yeah much harder but if you will do every single day steps by step by step and all the time work with that by just reaffirming something else creating mm -hmm. different energy around you it's going to just change it's and stop yourself also in the tracks when you are having the negative limiting belief stop yourself in catch that it in a bud mm -hmm. catch it in a bud yeah. that's that's how we like to call it right mm -hmm. and catch yourself mm -hmm. right because that's when the funny thing is that you basically observe you that you are doing something wrong mm -hmm. and then who is observing who the new you is already aware you are already aware of new you and the old you is still there and the new you says hey this is not us stop mm -hmm. we are cutting that old us away and still and still and still until the new me expands that's yeah. really nice illustration, mm -hmm. right? We will definitely talk about beliefs again because they're so crucial in changing ourselves. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps more people to find this message. And if you want to be a better buddy with your body, subscribe to this channel. We look forward to see you next time. Thank you for sharing your time with us. I am Adi and I want to sit on something really comfortable and warm and fluffy. Hmm. So I sit on my brother. I think it's the best couch ever, I guess. What do you say? Can somebody please help me? It's so heavy. I can't breathe. It's cold here. Oh yeah, of course. Every, everything. I see everything. What is around me and so on. What's that? What's that? Uh huh. Okay, everything checked. I have to work for Please, everybody. Please, somebody help me.